Yo, what's going on guys, it's Houston Sports Talk back in the video day, and today we're going to be talking about what the Philadelphia 76ers offseason plan should be going into this offseason as the Philadelphia 76ers were eliminated in the second round yesterday to the Boston Celtics in Game 7, 112-88. Philly has a lot of decisions to make this offseason with James Harden going into free agency and deciding to keep or fire Doc Rivers. And I think everybody knows the move that is most likely coming is firing Doc Rivers. And that's what we're going to get started with first. I think the move for Philadelphia should ultimately, the first move for Philadelphia should be to fire head coach Doc Rivers and then pursue Suns head coach, uh, when, when now he's not their co head coach anymore, but former Suns head coach Monty Williams. I think Monty Williams would would run the Philly the Philly team way better. And I think with you know, I think Monty Williams is way more of a stable head coach than Doc Rivers. And I think if you know playoff runs, I think Monty Williams. Okay, in my opinion. That game seven yesterday, if Monty Williams was coaching that game instead of Doc Rivers, I think Philly could have had a chance to win. They they would have had a chance to win that game if Monty Williams was coaching, you know, that team. But no, I think Monty Williams coming in for Philly. If you fire Doc and you know perhaps go after Monte Williams, I think I really do think that Philly would be in a better you know direction with coaching. But then that's that you know then you have to get into free agency. James Harden is a free agent and there are rumors about him returning to Houston. But besides him going back to Houston, I there we there are not a lot of other teams that are that interested in signing James. And we've heard a couple other teams that might be potentially interested in James in free agency. But besides the Rockets having interest and James Harden having interest in going back to the Rockets, there are not a lot of... you got the Sixers being interested in re-signing James. you got the Rockets being interested in reuniting with James. But besides that, we've really not heard any other teams that have any interest. And I honestly don't know if I see anybody else maybe going after James. And my, just, I mean, uh, top of my head, um, I mean... Maybe the I was gonna say the Kings. Who do they have starting at two? Fox is at the one, and then who's starting the two for the Kings? I don't. Who's? I can't. I have no idea who's starting for the uh, two for the. The Kings starting lineup is, uh, Keegan Murray, Harrison Barnes, Demonte Sabonis, and then who's starting at? I can't. I God help me. Monk is the sixth man, so maybe the Kings. I don't think so though. Uh, I we have not heard anything about any other teams besides the Sixers wanting to re-sign James, or the Rockets wanting to reunite with James. So if James Harden says, you know, I, I if Monty Williams comes in and he gets hired and Doc is gone, there is you know not, nothing's confirmed, but it doesn't look like James and Doc have a you know looks like they have an okay relationship, like James said. Um, but it uh, I don't I think Monty Williams. Uh, is a guy everybody likes, and me personally, I think that that James, if if Doc gets fired and Monty Williams comes in, I think it makes James want to stay in Philly more. But we're gonna go over two plans of what might happen. You know, what what the Phil, Philly off season plan should be with if James leaves, and the off season plan should be if James returns. So let's get into it. So the off season, what the off season plan should be, if he returns, I think the off season plan should be, resign James if he return if he wants to come back, resign James, fire Doc, hire Monty, then kind of just keep your whole starting lineup. I know Joe Ellen says you know they need help, but I don't really don't think you need that much help. I here's what I say you go with, um, at one Maxi, two Harden, three Tobias Harris. I mean, maybe you replace P.J. Tucker, but he's having a huge impact defensively. And the impact, yes, he's not a big offensive guy, but, you know, he, he's he, he's a really big impact player for them and a really huge defensive player as well. And if you, he's also a good three-point shooter whenever he is shooting the ball. So, because he doesn't shoot that, he doesn't shoot that much at all. Um, if he wants to... I mean, I truly think that if PJ, um, 
if he shoots as much as he did in Houston, he'll score as much as he did in Houston. Because when he was in Houston and in Miami and in Milwaukee, he shot the ball a lot. And I think that, you know, if they need him, they really don't need I mean, with Maxie shooting a lot and Joel scoring the most and Harden, you know, either shoot, either scoring really good or not scoring really good. And then Tobias Harris is another really good option. They do not need much from... They do not need much from, you know, they don't they don't need not much from PJ Tucker offensively. But when when they where they need him is defensively and just being a huge impact. So let's get into sort of the other free agents that the 76ers have. Uh Shake Milton, Montrez Harrell, Georgie Yang, Daniel House Jr., Jalen McDaniels, Paul Reed, Dwayne Dedman, Mac McClung, Lewis King. I'm only gonna. I've, I think the Sixers should only re-sign a couple of these players. I say you go ahead and you re-sign uh, Georgie Yang, who was really good this season for them, and then you re-sign as well as Paul Reed, who's gonna be, who was actually really decent in the playoffs this year, and is gonna be very cheap to re-sign, and could be a backup center option as well. Uh, but I don't think that I think the Sixers in free agency should get. Here's here's something I'll tell you. The Sixers bench was not that great this year. They had some. They had their moments. Mel, Milton and Melton were the Mil, the Milton Melton duo was actually really good with Shake Milton and and DeAnthony Melton. But um, but I I I think Shake I think Shake Milton with not getting many playoffs minutes, not getting any playoff minutes at all, will walk and go to a different team. And I think Jalen McDaniels will leave. Who was uh who who didn't play it in the playoffs at all and and he was in and he kind of I I don't know I just think that Jalen McDaniel's could have done some stuff for them in the playoffs but I mean you only see an eight man rotation in the playoffs and they had Georgie Yang they had Melton uh, which those guys didn't even get a lot of playoff minutes either so but I think you resign Georgie Yang and you resign Paul Reed and then you go go after two guys to improve the bench. I say you signed uh, center Dwight Powell uh, from the Dallas Mavericks. Have him come off the bench. He'll be the backup center to Joel. And then signed shooting guard from the Denver Nuggets, Bruce Brown Jr., who had an outstanding, outstanding uh, season with Denver this year. Or, well, season's still going on for Bruce Brown, but has had an amazing year with Denver this year. And I think... You know, you add in Bruce Brown Jr. and Dwight Powell off the bench, and you ha- you keep DeAnthony Milton, who was outstanding this year for the Sixers. You have George Yang off the bench. So your bench is George Yang, Milton, uh, Bruce Brown Jr., and Dwight Powell, Paul Reed, um, and other guys. Maybe you go after a player like Germ. Maybe I mean. Joel Embiid says he thinks him and James needed another guy, but when I'm viewing that. You got Maxi and you got and you got Tobias Harris. So maybe if James Harden takes a pay cut, maybe you go after someone like Kyle Kuzma or Jeremy Yang. Uh, I mean not Jeremy Yang, Jeremy Yang. I'm thinking about uh Georgie Yang. Or maybe you go go after someone like Jeremy Grant or Kyle Kuzma to be the starting four and get rid of PJ Tucker, which honestly Jeremy Grant or Kyle Kuzma would be good offensive options, but then defense your defense kind of gets a little bit, a little bit, you know, it wasn't as good as it was before. If PJ comes comes out of the lineup, so you could you could give James a, a pay cut and give some money to Jeremy Grant or Kyle Kuzma at the four, someone at the four, and improve that starting four. Or you could keep PJ and he can do amazing defensively things. I think I'd just rather keep PJ and, and you know you. I'd, yes, you'd rather want Jeremy Grant than. Um, or wait, Jeremy Grant's a decent defensive player, so I guess if you can get, but Kuzma's not a good defensive player, so um, I guess what I would say is like, if you could get Jeremy Grant, and if that's a, the only, I think the only way, the way, only way you can get Jeremy Grant is if, is if James Harden takes a pay cut. If I'm not mistaken, Jeremy Grant already played for Philly, so maybe who knows if he will even go there. But it, if Jeremy Grant would be interested in going to Philly. And James Harden would take a pay cut for Grant to join them, and maybe Tucker comes off the bench and gets a lot of minutes off the bench. So, 
Okay, let's view this. This um, one is Maxi, two is Harden, three is Grant, uh, four is Tobias Harris, and five is Joel Embiid. Then off the bench, you have Melton, PJ Tucker, PJ Tucker, Melton, Dwight Powell, and Bruce Brown Jr. And then Monty Williams is the head coach. I think that would be a decent offseason for the, for the Sixers. And then my solution, if James Harden is gone, it goes to the Rockets or leaves for someone else, I think there's only one answer to that. You trade Tyrese Maxey and Tobias Harris to the tr- Portland Trailblazers, uh, or maybe even maybe have, in a bunch of first-round picks with Tobias Harris and, and Tyrese Maxey. You tr- at least you try to, and try to acquire Damian Lillard to pair up with Joel Embiid. Um, and then you'd have to do some other stuff in free agency because uh, Harden would be gone, Maxi would be gone, Harris would be gone, so then only Tucker and Bede and Lillard are there. So then you'd have some figuring out to do with Embiid and, and, and Lillard there. But I think the answer for Philly is if Harden leaves, if, if I'm saying if the answer for Philly is if James leaves, trade for Lillard. Um, but... Besides that, if that that's a no go, the Blazers won't trade it, f- trade Lillard away to the uh, to the Sixers, and Harden leaves. Philly could be very very fucked, but um, we'll see what happens. I think this is a very important offseason for the Philadelphia Seventy Sixers. That's the video. Because enjoy them your thoughts and peace out.